yourself a lawyer you say you know neither now you don't complicate the matter you don't implicate yourself no be grad grad no be fight lawyer go help you know your right teach me the law you're yeah, welcome once again now that we have eaten cola and drank some palm wine may we know why you are here Thank you, Marcia Dindo, Thank you. for your hospitality. My name is Chief Chinedu Ogundo, Chairman, CEO, Chidex Group of Companies. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chief Ogundo, the popular Chief Ogundo. You are the owner of that big hotel and fuel station at DGRA? Yes. Oh. Including the shopping complex. <laughs> that is good. Mm -hmm. uh, please, may we know why you are here? This is my son, mm -hmm. Chidi. Mm -hmm. He is a bank manager. Oh. Good day, sir. Uh, good day, my son. Good day, my son. Mm -hmm. uh, good day, my son. <clears throat> my son, Chidi, saw a beautiful flower in your compound, <laughs> uh, and um, he would love to pluck it. Chief Ogundo, <laughs> Chief Ogundo, you are speaking in parables. You speak in a plain language for us to understand, eh? <laughs> um, sir, um, I've come to seek the hand of your daughter, oh. Maria, in marriage. Oh. <laughs> you are welcome, my son. You are welcome. Mm, you've spoken well. But you see, the request you have made is not for us to grant. Mm? We shall invite Maria herself so that she can speak about it and tell us what she intends. Is that okay? Is that not true, my wife? Very well, my <laughs> husband. Thank you. Uh -huh. you know our tradition. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, please, you go and call Maria. Go and call Maria so that she can speak for herself. Hey. You are welcome, eh? <clears throat> Good day, sirs. Uh, Good day, my <laughs> daughter. You are so beautiful. Thank you, sir. My daughter, Maria. This is Chief Ogundo. And sitting beside him is his son. He's a bank manager. <laughs> he has come to seek your hands in marriage. Papa, I am not interested. Why, my daughter? I am already in love with someone else. Please, this won't work. Excuse me. Maria. 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 Chief. Chief Ogundo. Chief Ogundo. Mama, I hope you are not here to persuade me to marry Chidi. My daughter, you are still young to understand what marriage is. Mama, I know, but that's not a good reason to force me to get married because of wealth. But I and your father have suffered to train you and your siblings who are still in school. We need help. Help will come. Look, I want to marry a born again Christian, like Pastor Wilson, a man who fears God. Pastor Wilson? Who has no job beside the mushroom church where he, where he works as a pastor? God will uplift us from the mushroom church, Mama. So you are going to wed in that mushroom church? Yes, of course. And what is wrong with that? Hmm. Mm. Eh, hey, Maria. Hmm. Well, if that's your choice, 
so be it. But just know that I and your father won't be part of it. Mama. yourself a lawyer you say you know neither now you don't complicate the matter you don't implicate yourself no be grad grad no be fine lawyers will help you know your right praise the lord Hallelujah. the lord is good all the time offering time Blessing time. Offering time. Blessing Let me time. hear you say it one more time. Offering time. time. That's very good. You know, this is the time you need to package a quality offering unto the Lord. Because the Bible said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall the Lord give unto your bosom. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So dip your hand to that one that is at the bottom. The quality one, the best of the best, and give. Honey, offering time. Blessing time. Offering time. Blessing so time. give your offering, and you shall be blessed. Amen. The book of Malachi said, if you don't give unto the Lord, you are robbing God. And you are beautiful people. You cannot rob the Lord. So give those quality offerings. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. As you go, you are blessed. Amen. Whatever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May we all rise and share the grace in fellowship. May we share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. As you go, go in peace. Darling, how much is it? It's 2,300 Naira. This is ridiculous. Darling, what is the matter? Don't darling me. Can't you see? That since I married you, things have been going backward instead of forward. How do you mean? Oh, spare me. After two years of marriage, no child, no progress, Short members are decreasing instead of increasing. And you blame me for all this? Oh, spare me. If the witch cried last night and the baby dies, who will be held responsible for it? Wilson, you accused me for being responsible for our problems after I disobeyed my parents to marry you. I wish you never did. Benji, Benji, mm. good to see you, man. Same here, bro. I mean, glad we're together again like the good old days back in school. <laughs> How was your trip back from the US? Man, it was all right. It was cool. It was good. This is the best pepper soup I've tested in ages. <laughs> what would it be? Why you don't come out to enjoy yourself because you claim to be a pastor? <laughs> I'm tired of this pastor's work. Do you know that I can't drink a beer even when I feel like? That's funny. Because where I stay in the US, the pastors over there, <laughs> they smoke and they drink when they like. And they don't care about nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. You don't try it here. If you do it here, you'll be crucified. How's the ministry, bro? Not growing. And your wife? Barren, man. Nothing seems to be going right with me right now. Benji, I need your help. 
if I give you a contact to travel to the U.S., would you accept it? Of course, yes. Wholeheartedly. But not with your wife. Why? There is a wealthy 80-year-old black American friend of mine. I'm all ears. I'm listening. She's looking for an African man to marry. Someone who would inherit her wealth when she dies. I'm ready, man. I'm in. Count me in, man. Calm down, calm down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. But you have to do one thing. And what is it? You would have to divorce your wife. Why? Because without that, you cannot validly be married to the black American woman. On what ground will I have to divorce her? I'll take it to my lawyer. All right? I'll take it to my lawyer. Judgment. This is a petition which was dated the 7th day of October 2021 by the husband, Wilson Wike, referred to in this judgment as a petitioner against the wife, Maria Wike, referred to in this judgment as a respondent. The order sought in this petition is as follows. One, a decree of annulment of the marriage between the petitioner and the respondent on the ground that the marriage was null and void ab initio. Records of the court show that the petition was filed on the 7th day of October 2021. The respondent filed an answer and cross petition dated 3rd day of November 2021. Petitioner further filed a reply to the answer and cross petition on the 13th day of November 2021. The petitioner opened his case on the 1st day of December 2021. The petitioner testified that the parties got married on the 11th day of March 2019 at the Good Shepherd Bible Church Oweri Municipal Local Government Area, Imo State, which was evidenced by a marriage certificate issued to them, which was tendered in evidence as Exhibit PWA. In his case, that after the celebration of the marriage, both parties cohabited at number no. 9 Ugbele Street off Urata Road, Oweri. It was further his case that it was sometime last year the month of September in 2021, that it came to his notice that although the Good Shepherd Church, where their marriage was celebrated on the 11th day of March 2019, was duly registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission as a place of worship, it was not so licensed as a place for celebration of marriages. It also came to his notice that the minister of the church who conducted the solemnization was not issued with a license. Therefore, had no authority to perform the solemnization. Petitioner testified that he realized and appreciated the fact that the marriage certificate issued to them was issued by the church and the minister of the church who did not have the authority to do so. With the advice of his lawyer, he filed this petition. PW1 was cross-examined by the respondent's lawyer. As stated earlier in this judgment, the respondent Maria Wiki filed an answer and cross-petition. However, failed and neglected to give evidence in open court. The action of the respondent shows that she has abandoned the answer and cross petition that she filed before the court. It is tried that pleading is not synonymous with evidence. See the case of Michael Ayola and Mrs. Aramota Yekini Pedro, 2014 LPELR 22915SC. A party who has filed pleadings is expected to come to the witness box give evidence and be cross-examined. Where he failed to do this, his pleadings are deemed abandoned. The respondent did not do this. Her answer and cross-petition cannot form part of the evidence of the court and will not be referred to or relied on with, for the fact that the respondent did not do the needful. And I so hold. See the case of Izena and Atta. The testimony of the petitioner is therefore the sole testimony before this honorable court and it stands unchallenged. I have carefully listened to this testimony of the petitioner. I have watched the demeanor of the petitioner while giving evidence, especially during cross-examination. I have perused the final written addresses of both Council, Council, Mrs. J. O. Konko Esquire for the petitioner and K. O. Egesiono for the respondent. 
Uh, view quality periods carefully the authorities cited by Lane Council, some of which I found very useful, and I thank Lane Council for this. I quickly, however, have to point out that although I find the written address of Keo Igyosunu very brilliant, it, however, cannot take place of evidence. See the case of Barista Lalikon Uyerinde and Access Bank, 2014 LPELR 23461CA. As earlier stated in this judgment, the respondent neglected to testify. The issues raised and canvassed by Lanek Council K.O. Ise Gunese Esquire, although eloquent, were not buttressed as or supported by any piece of evidence. It was very flowery, I must admit, but of no substance, and I so hold. Having settled this issue, I will evaluate the evidence before the court. I find the testimony of the petitioner straightforward, simple, and believable. His evidence was not contradicted or controverted under cross-examination. He strikes me as a truthful witness, and I believe his evidence. I believe both parties, the petitioner respondent, celebrated the marriage on the 11th day of March 2019, I believe the marriage was celebrated at the Good Shepherd Bible Church where in Municipal Imose, which is a licensed place of worship. Evidence before the court shows as at the date and time of the celebration of marriage on the 11th day of March 2019, both the church and the minister that performed the ceremony were not authorized as the church was not a licensed place for celebration of marriages. And the then minister of church was not issued with such license. See section 6.1 of the Marriage Act, which provides, and I quote, the minister may license any place of public worship to be a place for celebration of marriages and may at any time cancel such license in either case. We shall give notice, therefore, of the, in the Federal Gazette. Furthermore, section 31C of the Matrimonial Causes Act states, and I quote, subject to the provision of this section, a marriage that takes place after the commencement of this act is void in any of the following cases, but not otherwise. That is to say the marriage is not a valid marriage under the law of the place by reason of a failure to comply with the requirements of the law of that place with respect to the form of solemnization of marriages. The implication of a marriage certificate, the PWA, shows that the marriage celebrated was void ab initio, which simply means that the marriage has never been in existence for reasons that it was not performed in accordance with the law. The church marriage celebration without the church and minister of church having been duly issued with license does not confer legal status on the marriage. This is merely a church blessing, and I so hold. A license must be applied for and issued in accordance with the law. This is not the case in this matter. As the PWA, the marriage certificate, is therefore a worthless piece of paper which serves no useful purpose, and I so hold. I do not hesitate to grant the prayer of the petitioner, and prayers are granted as follows. The marriage solemnized between Wilson Wike and Maria Wike at the Good Shepherd Bible Church, over a municipal local government area, Imo State, on the 11th day of March 2019, is hereby annulled. This is the judgment of the court. Hello. This is the end of today's proceeding. Very well. The court will not rise. Because I just is we define which is justice all the time. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the matter. Nobody is above the Magana justice kind of journal. But it's a bad
non poter alicid poner in nihilum e expecter. It's a Latin maxim, which means you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. That's a case of someone who engaged in an invalid marriage. Someone like Maria and Pastor Wilson in the video you just watched. And you ask, what's an invalid marriage? And I tell you for free. Section 33 of the Marriage Act stipulates some conditions that make a marriage invalid. A. Where the person is previously married under customary law to someone else. B. Where both parties willfully acquiesce. C. If conducted in a place other than a licensed place or worship. D. By any person who isn't a recognized minister or a registrar of marriages. E. Without a registrar's certificate of notice. And finally, F. If under a false name or names. If any of these conditions are breached, then the marriage is invalid. So, take a look at your marriage certificate. Many times, people get into marriage without making requisite inquiries. If only Maria had inquired about the officiating minister for their wedding, being a recognized minister as contemplated by the Act. If only she knew to ask whether the church is a registered place of worship, it is important to know that not all churches or mosques are licensed, and those that are had to go through some procedures to obtain such license. The law regulates everything about our lives, from date of birth to death. It is therefore important you take time to know the legal elements of something before getting into it. So I ask you again, look at your wedding or marriage certificate. Simplicita. My name is Kanayo or Kanayo Esquire, and this is the People's Lawyer. Thanks for watching. <laughs>